My relationship with Uncle Stephen and Hunter, really I don't see them that much and they come up for relatives' birthdays or parties and that's about it. Well, I think about working with my uncles and cousins this week. Oh, it'd be really fun. Uncle Stephen is my man's brother, and he's my uncle and um, Hunter's cousin. He's got a son named Hunter and a daughter named Tamika. I've danced before. Crawberry, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I used to dance at my old school, and I was a little less, and it used to go from grade four to grade 11. Our relationship with Uncle Stephen and Hunter is my nan, because um, Uncle Stephen's my nan's umbrella. Hi, I'm Hunter Page, and my my role basically in this production is just having fun and dancing and doing whatever my father wants me to because he's the boss. My name's Samson, and I'm here because Uncle Stephen, my daughter, and I play with my other six cousins, and yeah, it's just us coming together, doing whatever we do, freestyling, beatbox, and stuff. What's up? My name's Ryan Jordan. Most people call me Monkey because my little. Black ears. So my name's Sean Page, but people just know me Shawnee P. Hi, my name's Izzy. My name's Hunter Page for Shot. My name's Josiah Page and uh, most people call me CJ and that's the way I like it. I don't know what to say. Originally I was going to work with a, a group of Mullinjali people from my father's area and uh, uh, work on a story there and then it just sort of led to working, going even deeper into your own backyard and actually just working with your, your own family, your immediate family and then it became the nephews and then that became kin. They wanted me to work, go and work with the community up north but I said, why don't I do something back home and with my own people? And then that's when the idea of working with yeah. my nephews. I'm one of them. You're one of them? <laughs> Kin is about family. It's where you're from, where you belong. Kinship in Aboriginal culture, just in general, and many Indigenous cultures, that's a big part of their religion, is their kinship, about family passing things on, you know, from men's business to one generation to the other. Yeah, it's about the strength and customs of families. It's great working with David because he's sort of, um, you know, we've been working together ever since Bangara and, you know, he was my inspiration when I was young and he was a young pop star and he was always in the arts and he stirs me up all the time and, um, yeah, it's just, um, we always, I don't know, it's funny, we just get together and we, uh, talk about an idea and we can just always just bounce off each other naturally. Um, but it's good. I like working with family. What you're going to do is you're going to roll up, not with your head first, with your arms first. So when your arms come, yeah, then you're going to use your stomach without lifting your legs up, yeah. And then when you get your shoulders down, your arms go back. You've got to break it up like that. Getting too old. No, you're not. One more, up again. Good, hot, strong arms, you need strong arms. Because the car, we're going to work with the car, you have to have strong arms. Go, and go, one, two, slow, three, four, rolling up the stomach, head last. And just, just pull back. Head down. Oh. Head, down. head down. Oh, I stopped grinding. <laughs> just shake a leg, shake a leg, shake a leg, shake a leg. That's it, look at this little fella, does it better than you big fellas. We was just finding out who's, you know, who's, who's, where's their strengths, who's got, and who's comfortable with it. If you want to go bass, then, and if you're, if you've played bass, you know.
Yeah. He's more drum so I he's both drums. Yeah, he's drums. But we'll work with. All of them. Oh, all of them. Oh, yeah. yeah, but we'll the thing is, what we're going to check out is with, with the car, is that we're going to check out if we do need the actual... Whole drum kit. The whole drum kit. Like, it might just be the snare with the uh, yeah. kick drum and a bit of cymbal. Like, we can put some stuff together this afternoon. Um, at least try to get through that melody and what that is about and who would actually be better to sing that. Like, we might find some words and stuff. Why do that? It's so I'm just um, teaching Hunter and, and Josiah um, just some vocal stuff because we're sort of creating a song with the kids and uh, the boys and uh, they volunteered to, uh, well Hunter's actually written the, the lyrics for it which is great and Josiah's helping out with the, the singing so I'm just helping with their pitch and looking at melodies and yeah it's fun. <laughs> Do you know when you hear them fellas on Australian Idol and they sing them off? Yeah. That sounds terrible. You don't want to go here. <laughs> oh, no, nah, there's no pressure. There's no pressure for me at all. Because I've been, I'm used to this stuff. I'm, I wouldn't be cocky, but yeah, I'm a bit of professional. Hunter has had a, 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 you know, over the years he's he's been brought up around theatre. You know, he was on stage when he was six months, and then when he was six, he was in a production with Ben Garen. He's just lived and breathed uh, my professional career. Um, he's always been around his uncle David with music and recording. Having Hunter there, his energy and his discipline would be able to channel and rekindle those other energies around him who haven't had that experience in theatre. No, this isn't a new verse. It's it's a new I didn't realise you're just... <laughs> 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 that was so funny. No, it wasn't. Okay, so, hey you, hey boy with a plastic bag. Why do you oh, why do you look so sad? Your spirit is it's your like life, don't make it cry. Why screw it up, why screw it up just to get high? Hey boy. Why do you look so sad? Day two and um, we had a talk last night and we sort of worked out something more, um, yeah, it sort of works a bit better in terms of the beginning of the show. Because uh, the boys experimented yesterday with some, some music and we thought that's great and we looked at how they were naturally jamming. Why? Because we need a singer. We need a singer. 
enhancing by myself. But you won't be by yourself. You'll be with, with the um, band. With the band. Behind you. Can you try? Why not? Please try. Mm -hmm. I think you can. I think you. I think you. I think you got a big card. I reckon you can do it. I reckon you can pitch. do it. Too. Why don't I play drums at the same time? But we haven't tried that yet. What, you're playing drums and sing? I thought you couldn't do that. I know, I'm trying it, so I don't know. No, you said you didn't want to do it. No, Hunter. I said oh, Hunter Hunter, wanted if Hunter, 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 Hunter wanted to sing, he can. Yeah. Oh, I thought you... Oh, can you can you actually do it? Can you do both? I know, I can sing. Make it cry Why screw it up? Just look at so high So don't ever work with children and animals, um, but they're not either. <laughs> they're special. They're, look, kids are hard, but I mean, as I said, um, because they are close to me and they are family, I think um, there's a sort of an excitement and a um, quite a beautiful feeling about actually um, tapping into their creative energies and giving them the knowledge that I've known um, in my profession and, and sort of passing that on. <laughs> If, if you don't stay focused and just listen to what we're saying, it'll take longer. It takes yeah. longer. Like so last night, we were gone. looking at each other and reckon, God, they got a lot of energy. Them boys are wild. No, they're not that wild. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hunter, he stays at Sydney a lot. You don't really get to see him much, and it's just good to see him when he comes down, and especially when you're working with him, because he's so deadly what he does. Oh, it was good. It was a bit weird, because I didn't know what they'll think of me, and I'll think of them and everything. But as I got to see him for quite a while, it started, I just didn't, I just ignored what they would have thought or said it to me. So they're my cousins. Tough luck. I like them. Oh, it was great going out to Bow Desert. Um, once again, I was thinking, is this project about taking the boys back to my father's country? Uh, is this project going to be about that experience? And I really think it was just uh, an experience for them to have to ground them about the bigger picture, what the story is about. And it was really just for them to connect back with their grandfather, to connect back to country. All your good things now, what you're having, you know, everything is at your hands and foot. You want this, you get that, you want that, you'll get that. But in 40 or 50 years, when you're out in that world, it'll be a different thing. So you want to listen to your mum and dad and do the right thing by yourselves. That's my advice to you. For them to see David and I with our father and to see uh, myself with Hunter. Um, and I think for Hunter, it was, um, I never really, I haven't really asked him that question what that day and what that experience was like for him to see me with my father and him to be there.
Hello, this is Shawnee P. And we're back here after three months doing the Kim Project and it's awesome. Hello, this is Ryan Johnny. No, I don't know. That's Kim. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sam P. And we're back for three months with the Kim Project. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. After the first week, I realised that, um, you know, you picked up the individual nephews who had the, the individual talent and who was stronger and some days, you know, one kid would outshine another kid and then the next day he mightn't do that, you know, so that then you work out more kids are consistent than others. So it was really just weighing up who could, who, how their discipline was running during that week. Probably would have witnessed um, some stuff um, in the first workshop. I've decided to scrap that because it was a bit, um, I don't know, didn't have any feeling. So we did, I decided to do an old poem um, by Kath Walker. And you know, it was my auntie, and I thought it'd be great for a young boy to, to do that. So then I just got a simple beat together. So we're going to try the task of them playing alongside a backing track, which I think might help them, and just throwing them out there in the deep end. But also sort of um, adds to um, the flavour of the whole piece having a soundtrack. So instead of them they're just stopping and doing live stuff, it's still part of the soundtrack, and they just. You know, they add elements to it, which I think might work. But he knows with these guys. <laughs> Uncle David came, um, called me up and said that we're not going to do that anymore, and he started something else. And he calls me up, says, "I want you to come to the studio in Sydney." He picks me up from school, goes to the studio, and he gives me this poem that I think and one of our aunties has written, and it's about land rights. And Uncle David said that this would, this poem would be good because it's the kin is about land rights and Aboriginal people trying to fit in. So we just started to read over it Even and recorded it. Not restriction. Give us Christ, not crucifixion. But baptized and blessed and Bible, we are still taboo and libel. You devout, salvation sellers. Make us neighbours, not fringe dwellers. Make us mates, not poor relations. Citizens, not serfs, on stations. Must we native old Australians? Well, it's me, Shawnee P. I'm here to rap about some young Maurice. They go to school for nothing because they get teased. Don't bet the colour. Me, she's just true to like any other fella. We don't want any trouble, man. Today is weird because we're actually in the art gallery where it's closed off to the public and um, yeah, so it's a little bit chaotic. But uh, today we're just really picking up from where we left off in July. Um, it's great we've got the car now so that we can work with the car. Um, and it's going to be hard for these boys because really it's um, trying to choreograph movement on them and they're, they're, they can naturally move but I mean I think for them as professional dancers it's going to be a bit tricky. Yeah. There was always going to be drama in this project. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's another thing. I mean, they're all sussing each other out, and you know, I think it's just natural. It's inevitable that young boys um, they compete against each other. I mean, they all play football against each other. You know, we're going to be quiet for five minutes. So just lie back and think about what you've done and why you're here. Well, that's one person who spoiled it. The brothers usually stir each other up, or one day they'll stir each other up, and then the other days they'll protect them each other from the other little clans of cousins. So there, there's all that sort of natural dynamic thing that sort of happens. Uh, but once you recognise that, you can sort of move forward. One, two, three, four. Oh, mook, mook, mook. More ribs. You can do it. Ribs. Can you shove your head? Move that way. Move your rib that way. Your hips the other way. Just lean out. Good. And then, and, then, and then lean out the shoulders. No, we'll go, we'll go That's it. You know, when they start getting into exercise and they start have to learn a particular type of um, 
piece of um, creative information they have to take on, on a board and, and create. And if someone else stuffs it up or whatever, and they have a dig at each other, then you know, someone there'd be a little bit of tear here and there. We had a little bit of drama yesterday. One of the boys wanted to pull out of the project, and which was Ryan, and you know, and so we wanted to make sure that he um, <clears throat> was getting back on board. But you know. I've had a taste of working with every type of temperament of um, human being in the performing arts, and I must say, this is the most challenging. You know, in the Middle East, in Lebanon and Afghanistan, where there's war every day, kids wake up every morning, and you know what, they don't even have food. They're worrying about which cousin's dying next from a bomb. They've got scabs all over their legs, they run up the street running from fire and they fall over. They don't have time to get up and go, oh, that's sore. It's hard going through the same moves sometimes. It's just sort of frustrating when we get things wrong. You don't think Carmichael Hunt and them fellas, you don't think they play football because they walk around going, we're sore. It's discipline and they're tough. You choose that in life. You can either go the other way, which is the bad way, which is drinking, smoking yandy, going to prison, trying to have attitude, have no intelligence. If you want to be that, go and be that. But if you want to do something with your life, for yourself, and for your people, then do it. And this is what this is about. You're going to do this in December, you're going to have other black kids coming along, and they're going to go, oh my God, those fellas just put a show on. They're talking about petrol sniffing, they're talking about maintaining culture. Oh, well, working with Uncle Stevens good, but sometimes he gets up you for doing the wrong thing, and it's really annoying, but you've got to go through that. And if you want to perform deadly, you've got to listen to him, so yeah. So let's come back here. The last three. So I don't want to hear. No more. Listen, I don't want to hear no more. I can't do that. Or that hurts. This is the Gallery of Modern Art. The Gallery of Modern Art. And, and this is the cast of Kin. And we're about to go into the space for the first time and this is one of the spaces is called Cinema B and that's where Kin will perform their, uh, will actually, they will actually open that space. So are you excited boys about yeah, going? Yeah. So let's go and check out the space. You know. Let's go, come Mace. on. <laughs> The changes for me, look, I think, I think it's inevitable. I mean, they're, they're boys at a period of their age where they're growing. So they're just naturally evolving. But I think the change in them, um, in their commitment um, about the idea of performing arts and theatre is, um, I think they're just digesting it and they're embellishing that more and they've just become a little bit more mature about that. I just, uh, <laughs> one more, a couple, couple more. I would normally just go into my director's mode where I, if I was to have Bangara dancers in front of me who would be ready and hungry to go and they would, they're there because they want to inspire me so they, and they'll come up with moves and so that, and that's, that's quite challenging and I, and I think I had to realise that they weren't Bangara dancers and that they were kids that were raw and they were vulnerable and psychologically you work a different way. Between the July time and the second week now in October, um, I reckon they've really just, they've thought about it and they've been hungry to, to get back into the rehearsal room and I think they've just had a great taste of that sort of professionalism about um, putting a show together. Yeah, that's right in the deep end. I mean, they have no dance training. They've had well, really no musical training. It's just all no, raw it's talent. Just, so just rely on their raw talent. Then three weeks, three workshops. Yeah. And they're, and they're doing you'd a. Be, they're doing six you'd have to be pretty shows happy on the weekend. That. Yeah, you'd have to be pretty happy with that. Working with my cousins has been fun, Delhi. All right. It's a good opportunity because we, we never see each other, and it's good to like work with them because, like, then I know more stuff about them. I can catch up with them and stuff like that. It's kind of. It's a good experience. Some of the best bits were like, when Sean backed up off the roof. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and going to pop his leg. <laughs> and going to Bow Desert. No. Yeah, yeah, that was that, fun. That was, Bow Desert was really funny. I planned all our family. Yeah. Kind of up. Seen like, each other. Home land. <laughs> and personality development and, and um, you know, people's skills, people yeah. skills and their, realising of their talent and what they can, 
you know, what they can give and to share, to share their talents and to get to know each other as well as family because that's what it's called, kin. Mm. And, and we always come back to that. Give us spoken, not a version. Give us choice, not cold, coercion. Status, not discrimination. Human rights, not segregation. You the law, like Roman Pontius. Make us proud, not color, conscious. Give the deal, you still deny us. Give goodwill, not bigger bias. Give ambition, not prevention. Confidence, not condescension. Give incentive, not restriction. Give us Christ, not crucifixion. But baptized and blessed and Bible, we are still taboo and libel. You devout, salvation sellers. Make us neighbours, not fringe dwellers Make us mates, not poor relations Citizens, not serfs on stations Must we native old Australians? In our land, rank as aliens? Banish ban, 